Hi, my name is Jérôme Labor. I'm the uh, CTO of the UNO uh, platform project. Uh, and I'm going to be talking to you today about a uh, way for doing nice applications uh, using animations and uh, Scotty on, uh, on the cross-platform .NET application. So uh, it's something that we've been adding and uh, trying to enrich the .NET ecosystem for the past few uh, few months. And uh, you know, it's all about making sure that uh, you as developers have the way to to do uh, to do nice and uh, and fluid animations on, on your application. So uh, it's, uh, it's 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 it was a journey, and uh, I'm going to be talking to you through about all this and show you what uh, what that does. Uh, so first, let's talk about uh, we're going to be talking about what Scotty is, what Lottie is, and what Skiersharp is, because not all not all of you know about what that what it is, uh, mostly because it's uh, it's an underlying technology for most uh, for most of you. Uh, we're going to be talking about a little, a little bit about what the Uno platform is uh, and why we needed it uh, when, when we needed the uh, the Scotty support. Uh, we're going to we're going to be talking about the Scotty PR and uh, why we uh, made a, an open source contribution to the the uh, the Skia Sharp repository, um, and uh, and finally a little bit of a demo to show you uh, what uh, the integration looks like and uh, what we can do uh, when it's integrated into uh, into a larger um, uh, framework. So uh, let's discuss what uh, what Scotty and uh, and Skia Sharp and Lottie is uh, first. You know uh, what is Skia? Skia is a uh, framework to draw, um, you know, two D primitives, so uh, lines and uh, sprites and sh and shapes, and uh, you know, fonts and things like that that you can draw on a screen, uh, whether it's uh, on pixels or being larger, uh, larger uh, screens. So uh, it's a library that's developed by Google. It's used in uh, Chromium and it's used to draw the content of uh, the pages that you're you're looking at. Uh, it supports a lot of things. It it can do uh, those sorts of uh, pixel shaders and uh, you know uh, complex shaping and gradients and all the sorts of things that you need when you're when you're uh, wanted to draw uh, content by yourself. And uh, it's it can be a software rendered, so you can draw on uh, um, mainly on a let's say, uh, byte array if you want. Um, so for instance, you can draw on uh, the Linux frame buffer if you want. So if you don't have any uh, window manager, you can draw on a, on a screen like this. Uh, but you can also draw using OpenGL. And this is going to be, uh, th this allows you to have a very fast performance for drawing a very complex uh, UI. Uh, so that's the uh, the Skia library. It's a, it's a the library developed uh, in C++. And that means that if you want to use that library uh, and uh, and go on manage code, you need to be using Skia Sharp. Uh, Skia Sharp is a library that does uh, uh, the, that allows you to use Skia, but using a manage binding. So it basically allows you to do from your uh, uh, from your uh, .NET application and uh, draw content on your uh, any of your .NET applications. So uh, whether it's Android, iOS, uh, Tizen, uh, UWP, WinApp SDK, uh, you know, Mac OS, Catalyst, or you name it, and, and even WebAssembly uh, now. So uh, that's where you get uh, all your, your, uh, your, your features available and, and go across platform with this. Now, uh, Google has been developing uh, the the support for Lottie. Lottie is a library that allows you to uh, have rich animations uh, using JSON JSON files. Uh, it's a, a very nice library that's available uh, and that's been developed by Air, uh, Airbnb. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, Google developed their own version of Lottie on top of Skia. And uh, if you mix uh, Skia and Lottie, you get Scotty. So that's the uh, that's the 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 word game that that was done uh, for this part. So uh, what we did is add the support for Scotty on Skia Sharp. Uh, so making a binding to the C plus plus version of Scotty so that it's available when you're using Skia Sharp. And what that does is basically this. So uh, when you mix all of this, you get files that are that have been developed by designers uh, using their own tooling. And uh, what it looks like it is uh, things like this. So uh, you get nice fancy animations that are uh, hardware accelerated where where available, and uh, it looks it looks really good. It looks really good. And uh, you can use that in all your applications, uh, even on the web. So, uh, even Blazor is using it. Uh, uh, so uh, so that's that's very nice uh, to to make your application look uh, a lot nicer. So. Uh, 
the interesting part really is about making it running cross-platform. And, and I'm showing you here a, uh, a version of all of this that runs on many platforms. Uh, you can see the web here on the, on the far left. And uh, you got Android and Metal, and uh, you get the uh, uh, a GTK Skia application, and also you get iOS on the right. Um, and you know uh, the Tizen guys have been developing their uh, you know ch testing this on uh, to run this on TV. So if you see uh, at some point in the future a nice fancy animation that looks like this uh, running on your TV or on your smartwatch or something like this, that's uh, that's probably because Scotty was there, uh, and that makes for uh, for vector animations that looks very nice. And the interesting thing here is that because Scotty is vector based, that means that you can scale it up really, really, really large, and it's still going to be looking nice. It's not a video per se. So uh, that's the very important part about uh, about Lottie. And there are many many uh, many available files that are that are uh, on the public domain that you can use in your application, or you can ask your designer to uh, create you one. So that's uh, that's going to be nice. So next is why did we need this, uh, and why did we we add that support um, at Uno platform? That's the that's the interesting thing is that it, it, it was a a very a very important demand for people that was that were using Skia Sharp for a while, and uh, why did we get there? Um, and to get to that point, just going to talk a little bit about what Uno is and what we were doing, and that's what you're looking at. It's an application that, that uses Uno Uno platform. Um, Uno platform is all about getting WinUI, XAML, and C# -sharp running in the browser, uh, in the browser, and uh, on iOS and Android, and uh, Catalyst, and uh, your Linux devices, and uh, you know, any platform basically that uh, allows to do uh, that that runs .NET, and that's that's the very cool part, and. Uh, it's all about single code base, reuse of skills, making sure that you're not developing your code multiple, multiple times. Um, and we're not inventing anything. It's all about making sure the ecosystem uses the same thing. Uh, and you can use uh, all the other libraries that are available, um, like uh, the Windows Community Toolkit and other libraries like this. And uh, it's all pixel perfect. It's the important part here. It's all about making sure that your application can look the same uh, across platforms, but can also look different uh, in um, you know, if you want to, if you want to use the the, the uh, uh, native look and feel, you can do that as well. Uh, it's free and open source. It's Apache too, so use wherever you want. Uh, there is no strings attached here. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, contact us, let us know on uh, our uh, GitHub discussions on our uh, GitHub repo. So that's that's what uh, Uno platform is. And now, why why did we need the the support for uh, for Scotty and the, uh, the, the important part here is that previously using Xamarin, um, uh, so uh, the Xamarin iOS and Android and, and Mac at the, at the time, there was a library that was developed that was a binding on top of the original uh, Skia Sharp, um, Skia Sharp and, and, and Lottie libraries that were developed by uh, Airbnb. Uh, the problem with those is that they were developed uh, originally using Objective C and uh, some of the other uh, other the other bindings that were available at the time, and when migrating to later version or so when Airbnb evolved their library, they started to use Swift and other types of uh, of libraries, and <clears throat> it started to cause trouble uh, to uh, the developers of the binding that were uh, targeting Lottie at the time, and uh, uh, so. What happened is that when we migrated to over to .NET 6, so it was working fine where we're when working on uh, Xamarin, but when we're migrating to .NET 6, then it was starting to cause trouble because of the breaking changes uh, that were added to .NET 6 for iOS, Android, uh, and the support for Catalyst and Mac OS. And uh, we 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 were basically facing a, a choice: do we try to spend time trying to migrate all of the Skia Sharp support to go over to uh, .NET? Um, and 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 move to Swift, or do we spend time using uh, making the support for uh, uh, Scotty uh, that uses Skia Sharp that runs everywhere already, and uh, that we can that, that we can uh, make it benefit for everyone? And what we did is basically create you know cho choose the uh, the Scotty route because it made it made more sense. And uh, what we did is uh, create a uh, APR uh, to get there. So. Uh, what we ended up is uh, the, the availability of uh, what we're calling the animated visual player in Uno platform. And you can see here an example of what that does, which is uh, the ability to have um, uh, you know, nicely animated uh, loading wheels, uh, determinate or indeterminate with uh, animations and things like that, coloring and things. So this is a lot of file that's manipulated so that it can look nice uh, across platforms. Um, 
And the, the interesting thing is that uh, on WinUI and WinApp SDK, WinUI 3 and, and up, uh, more controls are using a lot of the animations to look nicer. So let's say you have to click on an animated button, it's going to do a fancy animation or a checkbox, you know, the check mark is going to do interesting things and, you know, light up. Um, that's uh, that's going to be nice. So that's the, the the core part of why we needed the uh, Scotty support so that it runs everywhere, uh, including all of the Linux and WebAssembly and other uh, targets there. Uh, we're going to be talking uh, maybe a, a little bit more about advanced scenarios that we're that we're adding, but that's pretty much what we what we're we're uh, using it in the what, why we're using it in Uno platform. Uh, so the Scotty PR was an interesting thing, um, and I'm going to be just uh, going to um, the PR that we we created uh, for uh, for .NET and um, uh, Matthew Libowitz was uh, which, who's the maintainer of uh, the uh, Scotty uh, the uh, Skia Sharp uh, repo uh, was you know a little bit doubtful about the fact that we would be adding a lot of um, um, you know a size you know adding Sk uh, adding Scotty to Lib Skia Sharp and you know to make sure that we're we're not adding too much to there what we can see here is that uh, in WebAssembly when we're adding Scotty. You know, after this PR, adding uh, Scotty added you know uh, seven and ninety three kilobytes of data uh, to the payload uh, in the in the non compiled library. So that means that in the output, the final output, it's likely going to be like three hundred kilobytes or something that's are that are added. And also to know that if you're not using uh, if you're not using Scotty, it's completely linked out, and that's the interesting thing. So it's not it's it's when you're using it, then it it moves up, but then uh, it can go down if you're not using it. So same thing for Android, two hundred and and sixty eight kilobytes in the output uh, library, and uh, for iOS, it's about a megabyte. But same thing, if you're not using it, it's not uh, not doing anything specific. So that that PR was a you know, uh, and and that contribution was uh, very interesting because you. Know, we got to take a look at what uh, the the runtime is doing and why we're uh, you know, uh, the, what Scotty is what Scotty and Skia Sharp is doing and uh, how it's it's building. It was a very interesting thing. And now we have a uh, the way for uh, uh, the PR uh, the PR uh, allowed us to add a public CI to uh, to Skia Sharp. So now if you want to contribute something to Skia Sharp, you can do it and you're going to be able to validate everything yourself because previously it was a, an intro uh, CI. So that's the kind of things that you know. Uh, Open source for the win. You know, really, it's uh, you know everything went up and uh, and uh, you know as a result of that contribution, and we spent a lot of time to to get to that point. So uh, I hope you're going to be enjoying this and uh, and and use it uh, in the future and and contribute, of course. Um, and finally, I'm going to be showing just real quick uh, what uh, the end result is in an, an actual running application. Um, so this is a an Uno application, Uno platform application, and uh, just so you know. Um, the integration of uh, Scotty and the way it works, you know, basically, you know, loading a file, moving, uh, you know, showing something on the screen and seeking into the animation is something that has been done, uh, you know, for uh, Maui. So if you can use that into your Maui application, Matthew Lebowitz has been developing this. Uh, there were integration from the Tyson guys and the Avalonia guys. So that's that's something that you can reuse across across the board. So that's you know a benefit for all the, the community and uh, all the other projects that are relying on, on Skiashark. Uh, but in the application that we're, we're developing here, uh, it's a small application. So when I click the play button here, you can see that uh, the, the animation uh, is doing something very nice. And I can change, the uh, let's say, the animation to go to, uh, let's say, an Uno animation that looks like this or uh, another um, you know animation like looks like this. And I can change the, uh, the filling, I can change uh, the sizing, you know, look uniform like this, and you can see that you know the 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 look and feel, and it's smooth because it's uh, it's vector uh, drawing. I can change the play rate, you know, making really fast uh, or really slow if I wanted to. Um, I can use uh, uh, the Lottie bulb like this, and you know, uh, make it look like uh, you know changing the start and stop. So it's all the integration that we can have when uh, running the application like this. So you can see here that the uh, the animation just stops. Uh, just moving the the light bulb because it stops at that location in the in the uh, in the animation. So that's that's the kind of thing that we can do with um, uh, with Scotty and the integration into platforms. And uh, I hope that uh, when you're you get to use uh, the Skia Sharp and Lottie and Scotty in your application, 
uh, it looks really nice. And uh, you know, if you have any feedback or uh, use cases, uh, things that uh, that uh, you see not not working properly, or you want enhanced, or you have new ideas, let us know uh, either on the Skiersharp repository or uh, on the Uno platform repository. Whether you're using the uh, the animated visual player. Uh, for your application, for your XAML application, or if you're using uh, Scotty directly uh, when running on Skiersharp. So that's the uh, that's the cool things about Scotty and Skiersharp. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you I hope to see you uh, contributing or using Uno or .NET and uh, you know, enrich the, the .NET ecosystem in the future. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much.